Welcome to pre-math. In this video lesson, I am going to show you how to rationalize the cube root denominator. As you can see over here, 21 divided by cube root of 7. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Just keep in your mind that the cube root at the denominator means that our this index is 3. So before we proceed, let's go over how to rationalize the square root denominator as you can see in this example. And here in the denominator, whenever we have a square root, by default, our index is 2. So let's go ahead and rationalize the denominator. So I'm going to multiply and divide by this whatever denominator, which is square root of 7. Now we can see that index 2 means we put down these two of a kind in the denominator. And now we know in the denominator square root of 7 times square root of 7. I have just copied it down and here I simplified it. It turns out to be 7. So at the numerator we got simply 14 times square root of 7 divided by this turns out to be just simply 7. And now this 7 goes into 14 2 times. So we got simplified answer that 2 times the square root of 7. Now let's go ahead and revert back our attention to our this original problem. This time our index is 3. So we are going to put this denominator part 3 times. So therefore we are going to write this one down 2 more times to make it 3 times. So I'm going to write down cube root of 7 and then cube root of 7 2 times and that becomes 1, 2, 3 times. And now at the same time I'm going to write down in the numerator 2 times as well. So I'm going to write down cube root of 7 once and then cube root of 7 twice. And now let's focus on the denominator, this part. And here I have copied it down and you can see that we have a cube root. So I wrote down these sevens under the same shelter. And now these seven we wrote down three times. So that is same as seven power three. And here our power is three and index is three. They cancel each other out. So we got a simplified answer at 7. So therefore our this whole denominator has been simplified to 7. So 7 is going to be at the denominator. Now let's focus on this part over here in the numerator. And here I have copied it down and it has been simplified to cube root of 49. So therefore our numerator is going to become simply 21 times the cube root of 49. Now we can see rationalizing the denominator means we no longer have a radical at the denominator. Let's go ahead and simplify this thing. 7 goes into 21 3 times. So our complete answer is going to be a 3 times the cube root of 49 and that is our simplified answer. And thus here is our simplified answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.